Well, a warning to check your freezer. The FDA says some frozen shrimp sold at Walmart could be radioactive. Custom agents flagged shipping containers from Indonesia after detecting cesium-137, a radioactive isotope, at ports in Los Angeles, Houston, Miami, and Savannah. The warning covers three great value shrimp products ac across 12 states, all with a Best Buy date of March 15, 2027. Now, officials say no tainted shrimp reached store shelves, but out of caution, the agency is urging a recall of all products link to the supplier, BMS Foods. Joining us now is Dr. Omer Awan, professor of radiology at the University of Maryland. Uh, doctor, great to have you this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Well, you know, we'll dive right in because I think so many folks are thinking, uh, can you put this into context for us? How does this type of exposure uh, compare with, say, a medical x-ray or perhaps a CT scan? And thanks for having me, Kelly. Well, if you were to have radioactive shrimp, chances are if you took two or three of these pieces of shrimp, it'd have no effect on your body. Remember, the FDA is doing this as a precautionary measure. But the important thing to remember, Kelly, is, is that cesium-137 is a radioactive substance, so it can emit radiation. And because it emits radiation with cumulative exposure through repetitive exposure and time, it can have harmful effects and it can result in very serious complications like cancer, for example. So this wouldn't happen, obviously, with just taking a couple of shrimp particles or a couple of shrimp. But the problem is, is that with time and with repetitive exposure and constant exposure, it can very well lead to development of certain cancers like leukemia and thyroid cancer, for example. Wow, that's pretty serious. I, you know, how much shrimp are we talking over over what amount of time, would you say? It would be a very long period of time. So the important thing also to remember here is, is that it's a result of multiple factors, things like the amount of radiation that is emitted, the duration of that radiation, and then what parts of your body that are affected. So usual shrimp particles will have on the order of maybe 50 or 60 becquerels of exposure. We're talking about hundreds of thousands or millions of becquerel of exposure that would result in harmful effects. Now, some patients will also get something called acute radiation sickness, which means that if they're exposed to a very large dose at a certain time, then they can get things like nausea, vomiting, fatigue, abdominal pain, potentially rashes and burns on their skin. But that would be a very large exposure, certainly not the type of exposure that you would get from just taking shrimp one or two times. Well, I have to ask you, you know, from a scientific perspective, how does this happen, radioactive isotopes uh, showing up in seafood? It can happen sometimes. It can sometimes be an oversight from uh, the FDA or, you know, other manufacturing companies. Sometimes things get contaminated in foods. We see this a lot with food poisoning. Uh, you know, these particles are ubiquitous. Even, you know, myself and you, Kelly, we are exposed to CC-137 every day, but very small amounts of it every day, even when we breathe outside. So it is in our the environment and it is a natural part of our life and where we live. So these things unfortunately do happen from time to time based on just normal exposures. Wow, new to me, uh, learning a lot on this segment. You know, for families who may be second guessing seafood in general, they have concerns, uh, what would be your best advice? Well, my best advice is that things are normally safe. And I want to also reiterate that no radioactive uh, CC-137 was found in any of the shrimp here in America. Remember, right. this is a precautionary measure that was found in a container in Indonesia. So I want everyone to be rest assured that this is not a threat currently here in America. And by far, the FDA does a fantastic job in alerting us to uh, potential problems, not real problems, but potential problems for our safety. And I think they've done a fantastic job in issuing this warning here for us. Well, it's great to get your perspective. Thanks so much for putting this in context for us this morning. Uh, Dr. Awan, great to see you. My pleasure. Thanks, Kelly.